Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. Welcome to another review from me, Matt. The BD Bizarker. Hope you're keeping safe and well. Looks like we're coming out of lockdown, which will be a bonus, and then no doubt we'll be in another lockdown at some point or other. But yeah, kind of, I wouldn't say I'm excited about going back to work, but I'm excited about going outside and not having to worry about getting done for walking down the street or something, unless you've got a reasonable excuse. So yeah, thank you before I start for all the support. I say it each and every single time, yes, I know, but I actually really do mean it. But considering I am just an old man sat in front of his iPad, trying his hardest to help promote, support and advertise only small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there, not huge, massive faceless brands. I have no way, real way of editing my videos or anything. There's no flashy graphics. Everything I do is unscripted apart from a few sort of bullet point notes in front of me. And so thank you. I really, really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate all the support I'm getting over there on Instagram. Well, it's not over there, it's somewhere or other, as Viking Beard Matt, and here on my Beard of Berserker channel. So, with all the reviews that I do on my channel, stuff that I get and buy myself, stuff that gets sent through, all of my reviews always have been and always will be completely honest, completely unbiased, and everything I do is my own honest opinion that I am not here to be smoke, blowing smoke rings up at people's backsides. It's not about that. Because I, at the end of the day, am a consumer, the same as you guys, then there would be nothing worse than me saying, oh, this, this is fantastic, and you go, oh, he recommends it, so I'll go out and buy it, and then it just falls apart, doesn't live up to expectations. So, it's not about blowing smoke rings. And, as always, links will be down below in that description box. Um, I do read and will respond to each and every single comment that is made as well. Always have done and always do do. Do do. And this morning's review has been very, very kindly sent through from Lisbon in Portugal from Rune Rider, who is a chap who had an issue with motorcycle gloves. Basically, either too expensive, poor quality, didn't live up to scratch, so he decided, I know, I'm gonna make me own, which he has done, and very kindly sent through a pair for me to have a look at, links down below in the description box. Yeah, when it comes to motorcycle gear, it's that very, very fine line between too expensive, because, I mean, let's face it, nothing to do with motorcycling is cheap, and, not paying as much money and kind of like having products that are going to fall apart and fail and everything because let's face it the only thing between you and a bike or you and the ground is your kind of protective equipment or PPE or motorcycle gear that you wear and everything so when he said he was making gloves um, I was very interested in kind of are these going to be suitable because I know very expensive gloves and expensive gloves have got kind of like all the knuckles and Kevlar and everything else on it and all the various certification that they need. And so I was kind of quite interested to see what he's doing. Now he does these in cowhide, come in four different colours and these were actually handmade to my hands. Uh, basically he, I had to put a measuring tape across, tape photos, send it to him and everything. And a couple of weeks later, these arrived, which is not bad considering um, we're in sort of like with coronavirus and COVID and everything going off and slow post. So a couple of weeks made and sent. There's the logo, the runes of his logo. And a thank you written there. He has got some business cards um, being made, uh, but they weren't made at the time uh, that he sent these through. Nice logo there with the runes on it. And... These are the gloves that he has sent through. I like, there's like I say, there's four different colours. There's brown, there's a black, there's a yellowy sort of colour. And these ones which are kind of like the distressed brown leather look. And they are damn cool. He's in the future going to be doing fur lined gloves uh, that are going to be in at around about 60 euros, which is around about 50 odd quid. These are really decent gloves. They're thick, they're sturdy, um, and I have tried to kind of like wear them as much as I possibly can do to kind of break them in and to see how they're going to perform because there is nothing worse than sort of like you go out and they just start falling apart. But uh, take it off. The stitching on this, considering 
that these are all handmade by him is impeccable. There is no weak points. I've sort of pulled them. I'm, I'm slightly elasticated around the, yeah, the cuff, as you can see. Um, and you've got the logo kind of branded in there as well. I wouldn't say I've tried testing them to destruction because obviously everything breaks because that's nature. Um, but these are so well made. They're not too thick that you can't move your hands. Um, obviously they do need wearing in and everything. There's still enough control in both hands. If I put them both on, I'll look like a murderer on the video. Not that murderers wear motorcycling gloves, but there's enough gear, but you can still feel through. Obviously you can't use your mobile phones and stuff. I've tried doing that just to see if it worked. Um, and yeah, okay, there's no Kevlar and sort of like carbon fiber and stuff like on there, but they are a decent, decent pair of gloves. And obviously you don't just have to wear them for motorcycle riding, but yeah, I've tried them. I've tested them, still got the feel and control with everything. Don't feel like you're wearing bricks on your hand. And great degree of movement on them. Don't go get them off. Decent fit as well. Uh, I think he does He does all different sizes and everything. And if you've got any sort of special, um, I was going to say special needs, but special requests and stuff, I'm sure he can accommodate that. But really really nice also going to prices in just a second i'm just not on the floor also he does the two kind of key ring things glove holder uh one to go on your belt or wherever you want there you go there and these are all handmade that he does in, in himself as well um so that one you can use as a belt loop which I do have one on the back of my jeans anyway. I always wear one on the back of my jeans. Um, like that. And you've got the other one, which you can use for whatever you like, but is designed primarily for holding your gloves. You can clip it to your helmet or whatever. Bear with me. So, yeah, basically, it's a hangy gloves with. Um, it doesn't need right anyway, but there you go. So you get the general idea and then you can clip those to those, your helmet or whatever. The actual craftsmanship that has gone into each and everything that he sent through is there's no weak points, if you know what I mean. I don't want to be using something like this and then suddenly walk up the road and then I've lost my gloves. So the snapper is a decent, thick, heavy-duty one with a heavy-duty um, sprung-loaded clip on there. And the gloves themselves, which is the ultimate point of the review absolutely no issues with them whatsoever and also what he does do um if you buy two pairs of gloves you get one of these free um otherwise he does sell them which is the kind of honey beeswax nourishing for gloves and he's even sent through a couple of little pads to use them on a beautiful smell of honey to it um but it's kind of leather protector um the gloves are waterproof i've tried them i've tested them i'm not obviously submerged them into boiling water or anything like that but i've given them a really good test out and going out and they really perform they're good gloves okay they might not have the protection on there um but they're a damn sight better than a lot of cheap cheapo nasty gloves that i have seen and used in the past Love the coloration on there. Hopefully you can see all the detail and everything. Um, just can't fault them. Really decent, sturdy, hard wearing, nice gloves that are made with love and pride. And the prices on these ain't too bad considering motorcycle gear and everything. These each are 15 euros, which I put through a currency converter this morning is comes up as 13 pound each so you can buy both of those for 26 quid which is fine the gloves themselves well this first um the actual leather protector uh the beeswax honey smelling one uh comes in at five euros which is four pound 33 and the gloves themselves 50 euros which is 43 pound 35p 
Now, bearing in mind, you can spend a lot of money on motorcycling gloves, especially if you buy some of these high-end brands and everything. Nice, cruisy bikes, not necessarily possibly sports bikes, because um, obviously the speed you're going at on those, you do want a bit of protection on there. But cruisy bikes and just your touring and going out and some nice, decent, hard-wearing gloves, 50 euros, 43 pound, 35p, and bless him, the chap um, that sent these through, he's so passionate about what he's doing, he just hates either the expensive or the cheap and nasty, and there's nothing kind of really in the middle that he likes, and so he set it up, um, making these, and the, just the passion and that he's pouring into it is just absolutely phenomenal. Plus I've got a sticker as well, it's a sticker, so that's going on the sticker mirror. So thank you so, so much to Room Rider for sending these through. Absolutely love them. I highly recommend them. If you're looking for a pet, decent pet, hardware and driving gloves, riding gloves, give them a look. Links are down below in the description box. And I hope you've enjoyed this little review this morning. I'm going to do some more uh, videos and stuff with the gloves and take them out and about so yeah you'll get to see them some more and please feel free to comment down below do read and you'll respond to each and every com single comment thank you so so much Rune Rider for sending these through from Portugal absolutely top notch service great customer service great product fantastic double thumbs up from me so yeah hope you've enjoyed this little review this morning and wherever you are in the world whatever you're getting up to this weekend it's probably not going to be much bearing in mind we're all still locked down. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on helping supporting each other. And above all, keep on loving each other because you only live once. Make the most of it, guys. Have a great day and take care. And I look forward to seeing another review from me, Matt, the bearded berserker. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.